Severe weather threat across the deep south. Dangerous thunderstorms and tornadoes happening right now and continuing throughout the night in the same areas just devastated by that deadly tornado outbreak. This new drone video shows what's left of Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Roofs ripped right off of the few buildings still left standing, the majority reduced to rubble. Satellite images show the stark difference from before and after a once sprawling town now utterly devastated. Surveillance video from inside a school shows an EF3 tornado tornado sheer power. At least five people hurt in Georgia today when a reported tornado touched down there. That weather system is now moving through the south. Millions are on alert into the early morning hours. We have team coverage. Rob Marciano times out the new storms, but we begin tonight with Whit Johnson on the ground in Mississippi. And Whit, give us a sense of what you're seeing. Lindsay, good evening. The scope of the devastation is difficult to comprehend. This powerful tornado leaving pieces of businesses and homes all mixed together into one big unrecognizable pile of debris. And this is what it looks like block after block here. The mayor of Rolling Fork telling me this town is nearly a total loss. That monster EF4 tornado on the ground for more than an hour, killing more than two dozen people and cutting a 60 mile path of destruction across Mississippi. Is there a big tornado, big wet? AccuWeather capturing the nearly mile wide tornado hitting at the worst time after dark with catastrophic winds up to 170 miles per hour. In Amory, surveillance video showing another violent tornado ripping through a school, debris flying out of the ceiling. This is coming in. Oh, man. <sighs> Dear Jesus, please help them. Here in this Rolling Fork neighborhood, you can see some of these brick homes wiped clean off their foundations. Appliances tossed like toys, trees snapped in half, and the devastation stretches for miles. We had a refrigerator, stove. Local police officer Antoine Jones says it all happened so fast. He and his girlfriend taking cover in the bathtub. Once we grabbed each other, that's when the tub came out the foundation and we began to roll in the inside. The debris falling on top of us and all we were doing is holding each other just praying. His home obliterated. The couple surviving with only a few cuts and bruises then immediately started rescuing neighbors. Once I heard her screaming, I jumped into my first responder mode. She got up and we, we helped everybody that was around. Tracy Harden is the owner of Chuck's Dairy Bar. When the tornado hit, she and her husband were among nine people who took shelter in a large cooler. Her husband fighting the wind to pull the door closed. Before he pulled it all the way, he said, I see the sky. I see the sky. Yes. So the roof was gone. Yes. At that point, we know it's bad. All survived, including an injured customer who hunkered down in a different part of the restaurant. But we were stuck. We couldn't get out. The customer, he found us and he moved all the debris and he got us out one by one and so the customer with the broken arm yes came and let all of you out of the cooler yes tonight governor tate reeves touring the disaster zone with federal officials including fema fema is here we remain committed to the people of mississippi we will be here for you now we will be here for you next week we will be here long after these cameras are gone our team speaking with family members of the victims. Jessica Davis says she was on the phone with her mother, Wanda, when she heard the tornado hit. She says that was the last time she heard from her. I'm hurt, nothing but hurt, because everyone lost something. Whether it was a loved one, home, everyone lost something. Erwin Macon's home decimated. The only thing he has left is this suitcase. He was inside this trailer park when the storm hit, hiding under a mattress. When they blew the mattress off, everything was going flying around, and the mattress just, the uh, carpet just came over me like that, covered me, but I, I can't talk. The carpet, carpet saves you? The carpet saved my life. Oh my God. You think God sent that carpet? I think God wrapped it in me, put his arm around me, and let me know it's all right. He can take everything else, but I'm still here, so I don't worry about no material stuff at all. You know, life is more important. He is trying to put it all in perspective in the midst of that utter devastation. Let's get right to our Whit Johnson. Hey, Whit, Rolling Fork, Mississippi, it's a diverse community with less than 2,000 people. And it sounds like many were already struggling even before this tornado disaster. 
Well, Lindsay, about 35% of the people who live here live below the poverty line. And in our interviews, people explained to me over and over, they didn't have much, but people worked very hard for what they did have. They were proud of it. And now that everything has been ripped away by this tornado, it makes the idea of rebuilding their lives even more daunting. Lindsay? We can certainly understand why. Wit, our thanks to you. And now let's get right to our senior meteorologist, Rob Marciano. Rob, this area not out of the woods just yet, still the threat of more severe weather there? Unfortunately, yes, Lindsay. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at darkening skies to our south. That's where severe thunderstorms have been bubbling up throughout the afternoon in through Louisiana and heading in this direction. Hopefully uh, they stay to the south. You see, uh, this is not a good situation here to be dealing with more severe weather. We do have the threat like we had two nights ago in the way of moderate, a four out of five extending from just south of the tornado zone to eastern uh, parts of Alabama and then extending into Georgia. And our future radar kind of times it out. These storms that have been in Louisiana are now entering uh, Mississippi and then we'll be rumbling from west to east, maybe drifting a little bit to the north, getting into central Alabama. Some of these will be tornadic tonight. They certainly will have some big wind and some hail, damaging, yes, perhaps. We've already seen damage across Georgia with our last line, and then this gets into just south and, and into the Atlanta area as we go through the day tomorrow before things begin to weaken late in the day tomorrow. But it's going to be uh, certainly dicey through Georgia, even through uh, South Carolina. And here in uh, Silver City, which is just about 20 miles uh, away from uh, uh, Rolling Fork, they are no better off. This is the last thing they need. They hope these storms stay to the south. Lindsay? The last thing they need for sure. Wit, Rob, we thank you both. Stay safe. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.